I'm just going to move this beforehand. Oh, wow. It's in the right place. Never mind. Okay. Hi, guys. This is Rana here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top five books for third graders. I have a third grade brother right now, and he loves all these books that I have listed here, so hopefully your third grader does too. The first one is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. It's an intriguing plot line about like how um, a chocolate factory gives out gold ticket in chocolate bars for a very limited amount of children and then they come and go on this amazing adventure. It shows a caring family which really touched my heart because when I read it there's like a poor family and the grandfather sees that this um his grandson wants something so he spends his money to buy him one and even though it doesn't come out right they still enjoy it a lot so it was really sweet and it has a variety of people who all learn their lessons and better themselves which is important to see. The next one is Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, and it has adorable animals that are, like, so sweet. Um, it has kindly characters in general, actually, um, and realistic sh situations that are important to see that I don't really see in many books. It is a bit sad, but I think your child will like it eventually. Um, it's a it's an acquainted taste, to be honest, because um, it was a little sad at the end when, spoiler a character dies. Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney. Now this is refreshing after Charlotte's Web because this is super funny. It's a feel good light book that you can just read and make like, it just makes you laugh. Um, it shows a nice relationship with everyone through all the ups and downs, like his brother who doesn't really like him that much. And they still are great brothers through all the mischief that they do. Now, this is my personal favorite, apart from the one after this, The Wild Robot by Peter Brown. It's a rare storyline because you never really see these like things. Um, it's a cool ro robot that's not usually incorporated in novels. I haven't seen um, any robot books, maybe because I didn't read them, but I really like this one. And it is an exciting survival book with kindness incorporated. It's like you can survive by being kind as well. This is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Now, this is super famous. I love this book so much um, that my mom had to ban it from me because I wouldn't read anything else. This has an amazing fictional world that absorbs people of all ages. Trust me, I can still reread this and have the same excitement. It is timeless. Characters are deep and sweet, and it has fantastic details, like the menu in a place, um, specifically, like, butterbeer. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. It was made by Canva and me, obviously. So thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and see you later. Bye.